On the last video, we learned how to control our character controller with our mouse movement. So with this, we were able to create a first person character controller. On this video, what we are going to learn is how to create a third person character controller. But the thing is that we are going also to learn how to activate the animations of our character controller. So with this, our character will look and move depending on the movements we do. So let's get started. First of all, let's start by imparenting our main camera. So let's drag and drop it outside to any point of the hierarchy. Next, let's disable our camera look so our camera won't move. Now, let's move our camera a little bit back so we can see our character. Let's disable our capsule and let's also check on the project view our mesh. Now our mesh has different values but what we're going to focus is on the animations. So we have four animations which we're going to use only three. Idle, walk and jump pose. Idle, let's set it to loop. Let's set to run, also loop. Let's set walk to loop. And the jump pose, we're going to set it to ping pong. The ping pong animation consists that the character will do all the animation and when it finishes, it will go backwards to the start point. Let's hit apply and that's pretty much. Now let's drag and drop our constructor here and let's move it a little bit up. Now that we have our character here, let's drag and drop our character script and let's add a component of a character controller by clicking on component, physics, character controller. Now let's displace our center of our capsule on the character controller a little bit up so when the character hits the ground, we can see that it's touching the ground. Finally, let's open our character script and let's paste our code. So what this code does is that we make sure that we have a component of type animation before we can do anything. Then we have the component animation, but the capture is our vertical movement. If you're moving, then we're going to set our speed positive or negative, depending on what the user presses when the vertical input gets captured. And then we're going to do a crossfade to the walk animation. Else, if we're not pressing anything, we're just going to play the idle animation. Afterwards, we're going to do the same for the jump pose. We capture our space key, and if the character is not grounded, what we're going to do is that we're going to set a speed to half the speed, and then what we're going to do is a crossfade to the animation. Now, let's save here, let's go back to Unity, let's hit play, and let's see how it works. So if I move backwards, the animation will reproduce backwards. If I move forward, it will reproduce forward. And if I jump, it will make the jump animation. 